The next menu is going to be your settings menu. To get to the settings menu, press menu, then choose settings. On the settings, the first section that we're going to go into is the board settings. On the board settings, you'll have different settings that you can change in here, and you can scroll through to see all the changes. Um, in here, there's also a, a board setup, so you can get an idea of what your board looks like. So if we go up here to the top and choose like our dark square, uh, our dark square color, we can change our color just by uh, choosing the color that we want and pressing the OK button. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that the, uh, the, the color's been changed. If you scroll back up, you can also go in here and choose a custom color. So if you'd like to create your own custom color, you can use uh, the hex number for that. Or you can scroll uh, left and right with the red, green, and blue and create your own custom color. And then hit the select button and it'll automatically select that new color that you generated. Other features in here um, will also be changing the light square color. So if you want to change your light square color to maybe something like a light brown or something, you can scroll down and you can see the changes to the board. The next section in here is the highlight square. The highlight square is going to be used uh, as you make moves on the chest noter. It'll show the last highlighted square of the chest piece that you're on. So you can come in here and change the color. And then if you hit the OK button, if we scroll down here, we'll see that that's the last uh, night move was moved and that's why it's highlighted. The next option is going to be your chest piece design. In here, there's 13 different chess pieces that you can use. Uh, and you can just go in here and make a change and hit the OK button. And then if you scroll back down, you can see the new change to the piece uh, that you used. So again, in there again, you can go to the chess piece design and you can choose uh, any of the chess pieces uh, that are listed here. And then uh, essentially just hit the OK button. And again, they'll show up down here. Uh, the next feature is tournament rating. In here, you can turn on or off the tournament rating. So if you're playing somebody uh, and you don't want to see their rating, um, you can just turn it off so it doesn't show the rating of the player. It'll just list the player name. You can still import or uh, input the, the rating. It just won't show up. So again, you can turn that on or off. Uh, the next thing that you can do is the fan, which is the figurine algebraic notation. Uh, in here, you'll see just the regular notation. And then if you turn it on, you'll see that it adds the figurine uh, notation. So instead of listing uh, NC3 for knight to C3, it's listing, a, it shows a picture of a knight. Uh, the next thing that you can turn on is the estimated move time. So if you turn that on, it's gonna show the time that uh, it's estimated. This isn't the time on the clock. This is an estimation of the time uh, based when you press the chest noter to move from one, uh, moving one piece to the uh, on the board to somewhere different. So as you make moves and and and, calc and, and basically do those moves, it's it's an estimated time of, of how often those moves show up. Um, the estimated move time will only be able to be seen uh, in applications like chess base. Uh, if you're using like Lee Chess or Chess.com to go over your PGN files when you're completed, uh, it won't show that information. So I'll turn that off. Uh, the next feature in here is the chess piece max size. Um, what we've done inside Chess Noter uh, to increase, increase the size of the pieces is essentially if you turn it on, it'll make the pieces bigger so they fill the square a little better. So this is really helpful for people uh, with poor eyesight um, that want to be able to see the pieces a little better. So the last uh, setting in here is the text. So if you press the text button, it'll bring up display options in here and you can increase the size of the of the text down here in the in the menu. So you can go ahead and just hit it so you can see the notation a little better. Um, or you can go back to the normal size that it usually is. Um, so you can just change those text uh, display options on how you see fit. And that is the settings options for um, for choosing uh, the tournament board settings.